<laughs> no, I did not fully shave off my beard, but I got my cyber off that here. But I'm I'm moving forward, okay? So that thought in mind, Connie disappeared all of a sudden, but we'll see if she'll get back in any moment. But anyway, um, so there is this something I know that sh I, I was going to give this to Connie, but I guess either you, Max, could do take over this with, mm. uh, with the supermarket, with, with the markets, like taking all the food off the shelves because of this, of what's going on. Like we're, is this going crazy? Is it crazy or something? Or I mean, I I, I feels like honestly when I went, I remember going shopping at like eight in the morning. That's how bad it. I got to be there at eight, and I looked at one of the shelves and I immediately thought The Walking Dead when they go to like what's left of the store, and it's just it literally looks like that. It just reminds me of that. I just got like. You're like scavenging at this point. You're just scavenging for stuff. The only difference is we're still paying for things and zombies don't exist. Uh, <laughs> and everyone's yes. like, Yeah, what the yeah. <laughs> Please don't say that now. Like, like when we get now, she's gonna be like, Ugh, no. Yeah, yeah. We don't know anything about this virus. <laughs> We know we know I we know we have an idea of it because based on what's going on, um obviously everyone knows uh coronavirus is a family of different viruses so that's why it's making it harder to directly treat it that's the problem it acts like a million different things but um it was actually um so you know so it's it's and because it's a new strain it's caused everyone to like go crazy treat it like it's hurricane katrina we got to get we got to get all this food no hurricane sandy sorry we got to get all this food we got to buy everything I'm just like, first of all, they didn't say that we're going to shut down the stores like that. So stop overbuying because now people with babies can't get what they need. I have a friend who's a single mom with two children. One is a two-year-old. <clears throat> she got to get half her stuff online. She's lucky she has Dollar Tree near her house. So forget about it. I don't know about the Dollar Tree. I'm done with that Dollar Tree that's in Harlem on 125th. They don't know how to do customer service. It's like... Well, she's all they, they they're all she has now. That goes from the register into the aisles of the food where the refrigerators are. I'm Bro, like, the BJ's is worse. B, I have a friend, his mom went to BJ's. The line was three hours. What? Yes. Oh, because they're in bulk there. Because you got to buy everything in bulk. Forget about it. So you can't get that's the stupid thing with BJ's. You can't, there's no shopping bags. Everything's in bulk. So I'm just like, you need trucks, vans, all that. Oh my, I can't shop at BJ, man. Mm. As much as I love to have all food, but. <laughs> but, you know, I'm in the middle of fasting for the day. So, you know, my mom are doing that. We're fasting for six hours. So, I haven't touched the water. In well, look, I, I, just don't understand. In the I just don't understand why people think that it's the end of the world when they take everything off the shelves. And they leave nothing for us to buy at stores. Because it's the end of the world. No, stop. It's not the end of the world. It's just, here's the thing. Yes, people need to really stop treating this like it's the end of the world when it's not. But I think it's because, remember, people are scared of becoming open. They don't know when this is going to end. They don't know uh, what's going to happen because different people react to the thing different ways. Either you're going to get flu-like symptoms are cover in five days or you're gonna unfortunately pass away with pneumonia or whatever it's very hard to say because it's it it it, it, it it's like a gamble you're either gonna get the better end of the stick or you're not um so you know it's 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 a little it's a little heart-wrenching i have friends who are losing people to this um so it it sucks uh, people i know are passing away i don't know if it's from this one person got a seizure and it was it was like, I don't know, doing better, then all of a sudden he just collapsed. So it's very weird. Yeah. It's great. That's where I feel like the theories are coming in. I mean, I'm Christian. I shouldn't care about the theories. It's just something to think about. But I don't, I don't know, man. I just, you know, I'm just saying, like, people should, I think we should really just consider, at least consider. Right. We need to God again if we haven't. I mean, whether you believe in him or not. If you don't believe in him, then just be like, you know what? If you're real, let me know. 
Um, just be open to anything when you say that, but he'll prove that he's real. I've like, just to share a story, um, it has nothing to do with coronavirus, but just to give maybe some encouragement, I was, I feel like I'm evidence that he's real because he, um, when I was born, I was literally on the verge of death as a child, um, after three months in the hospital and incubation, they didn't know what was wrong with me. I had every, almost every problem in the world organ failure, the seizures up and down. Um, and they, doctors had every reason to apparently believe that I was gonna make the end of the week at the end of three months. And somehow I started to revive again. I was able to eat again because I wasn't taking food. I wouldn't swallow food or anything. I would just vomit it and not, and not take it at all. Then somehow at the end of that week or towards the end of that week, I was slowly able to eat food again. I was getting better and I just needed to take medicine for a good decade and I'm still here. And they had every reason to think I was done. So uh, quick comment, Natalie. We only got fifteen seconds here of this segment. Um, I think I think the power of like being positive and having something to believe in is powerful and I think that if you're believing in something and it's gonna it's gonna manifest in a way that makes you feel better during this time, and that's definitely something that everyone who feels need to should do. All right.